As you know, most of my videos tend to focus around the XR Interaction Toolkit, which is really cool and I've managed to get a lot of use out of it. But what about if I want to make my games look and feel more amazing in VR? Well, I've been investigating a couple of packages and I want to share some findings with you. So allow me to introduce you to a world of an asset I've been looking at on the Asset Store called AutoHand. And the reason I wanted to do this is because the XR Interaction Toolkit is, is very good. Um, but it has its limitations where I found most things I want to do, I, you kind of have to do from scratch or find another asset for the bolt on. And they don't always necessarily talk well to each other. So I was wondering what else is out there and what could I use to make my games feel more immersive. So I'm going to be looking at a few packages over the next couple of weeks that might help you think about how you build your games to accommodate for some of these packages because they come bundled with interactions that are ready to go out of the box. So I'm spending the money and uh, having a look at what these packages include so you don't have to. And if you're a patron, you can actually um, get the build of this. I won't be able to put the project up there because it contains a, a paid asset and it wouldn't be fair to the creator, but you can have a look at a build and experiment with it yourself and see if it's something that will work for your VR games. But this package I'm looking at this week is called AutoHand and first impressions are amazing asset. Uh, it's really easy to kind of download from the store and um, bring into my project uh, and then configure it so it would just work like I've got my Oculus Rift here so it's used, it got it working in that really quickly uh, and I'm actually using the OpenXR framework with um, the AutoHand package it comes with support for others as well but I generally tend to build for OpenXR all the time at the moment anyway so once I had got all that hooked up and running uh, it's working on my Rift, it's working on the Quest um, and that's all I've been able to test on, but it would work on like your HTC Vive uh, and, and and the Windows headsets as well. And that's all done through Unity. I got the OpenXR um, using the XR plugin management. See for Android, I got OpenXR and for Windows, OpenXR as well. So out of the box, you can see this is the demo scene that it comes with. And it's got this zone, which is, that contains all, kind of all the artwork and all the interactables. And then it's just got your auto hand player container, um, which contains everything you need to get up and running with XR. So, I mean, I made a prefab out of this, just dragged and dropped it into my prefabs folder, dropped it in a new scene, bam, worked fine, no problems. We've got these grabbables in the scene, which uh, contain your artwork, um, mesh renderer, mesh collider, rigid body, standard stuff, and then all it's got on it is this grabbable script from AutoHand, which includes all the functionality, it's got all the events in there on grab and on release, and then um, it's got some advanced features as well and some advanced events if you need to tap into those. So really, really flexible. And what I like about this is that they've actually thought about the sound a little bit as well because it comes with the co collision sound script. But basically, I think it's measuring the velocity of that rigid body. When you hit an object, it's, it's looking at effectively how hard you've hit it. Uh, and then it's controlling the volume of that audio respectively. So very, very cool. Um, but what I think I'll do is that I'll, we'll jump into a build of this and we can have a look at some of the features that ships with AutoHand. And I think you'll be able to notice kind of instantly how you can use some of these features to very quickly build a very cool VR game. Okay, so I'm going to run this full screen just so we can make the most out of the screen real estate and it's going to move me in the corner. Let's pop on the headset and let's jump into the world of AutoHand. So, out of the box, let's see what we've got. We've got our hands. These are the robot hands that come with it. It does also include um, like actual human hands as well, so it gives you a couple of options there. And that's, this is why I really like this asset, and this is what caught my attention. So, when you bring in your 3D models, what auto hand does is it kind of auto poses the hand to the object. If you pick up here, you see how it's formed around the object. And this is functionality that's out of the box, so it just looks at the mesh collider and it's going to place your hand appropriately on the object and with two hand grab as well. You can have one hand grab if you want to and not allow two hands. But this immediately makes you feel more immersed in the scene because it actually makes you feel like you're holding an object rather than, let's say with the interaction toolkit, you probably code all this functionality and it'll probably take you weeks. But you know, when out of the box of XR Interaction Toolkit, when you pick up a grabbable object, it's just going to snap uh, and it doesn't really make you feel like you're 
interacting with that object that you're holding, but this feels way more immersive. Like you've got way more intricate movements that you can make with these objects. So if you watch me pick up a ball here, this is single-handed. I can pick up the ball and it's gonna make it look like you know, I'm properly picking up the ball rather than just some weird hand movements. Let's have a look at some of the other features we can do. We've got uh, dynamic joints, so let's look at this grenade. You can see I picked it up in my hand. Poking it and it's like moving around. Just notice like it's got really subtle hand. My fingers are wobbling. That's cool. so I can grab and pull the pin. Pull it apart. Uh oh. And then you see it explodes and pushes me back. Very cool. I'll do that again. Pull it. Chuck it. Woo! Well, whatever that was, it was gone because I've blown it to smithereens. So you've got the tomatoes here, they say smashable, so I'm going to reach out for one of these mallets and uh, I can whack the tomatoes and uh, smash them up, which hours of fun with that. Then you've got like levers, stuff, and then as you move around, you can see here that we've got a chest, got our hands on the chest, but it won't open, we can try and lift it, nothing happens. But and then over here we've got a key, so this is like a snap zone. So I've got my key, I'm going to go to my chest, unlock it. There we go, ah, oh, friendship. I don't want any friends. Then we can like manipulate the box. All open now, and you can see we can put our hands anywhere on that object. And, and open up really, really, really cool. And we've got like, green, we've got these points where it accepts only certain things. So we can pull that in and you see it snaps in. Try and put blue in the red one. Not gonna work, I can knock it off. I can't knock the green one off. Very cool. Distance grabbing. Woo. All that. Uh, I don't know what it is about smashing these tomatoes, but it's oddly satisfying. I just do that all day. Got like gun stuff. Cool. But you can throw these, these are like sticky, so you can throw it in the zone and it's gonna stick. Have a shot. Ah, yeah. And this is amazing as well. So I can imagine building interactions off um, stabbing stuff. I know that sounds awful, but I can pick these up and I can like skewer them through the objects. And it's going to hold on to it. Uh, and if I shake it, it's going to come off. Boop. I can stab it through again. Just like push it with my hands. I don't really even need to grab them. Stack them up. I can make in some weird cube kebab. It's all kind of physics based, so it works really well. I, I, I can just go up to these and like push them with my hand. It's going to go in. Really nice. We'll just stab that through. Yeah, there we go. Tomatoes! We can get, pick up. I just love the way the hand molds to it, and then we can pull it apart and snap them. We've got our levers and dials controlling my massive hand. Now, I'm wondering if I can pick myself up with this massive hand. High five. Bing. Hello. Pat on the head. Well done, Dan. Well done. Kind of put his fingers up my nose. Oh. And also interact with buy stuff, which is cool. But when you're pressing buttons, it stops on the button and it feels like you're actually interacting with it a lot better. Got some freeze positions with freeze rotation, so I can I can grab this sphere and like twist it around like it was a, a, a globe. That one doesn't move at all, but I can rest my hands on it. That's nice. And I've got an increased mass box. That kind of feels really heavy. And when I try and turn my hand around, you see the object's not quite coming around because it makes it feel like it's got some weight. That's very cool. Very increased mass. I can't push the box. I pick it up. Well, I can pick it up. It feels really heavy. That's very cool, that illusion of weight. I really like it. And you can see how my hands are forming under the object there as I get my fingers in. Right and left. Love this asset. I can imagine making some really cool games with this. Balls as well. Ready to go for you. Monkey bars. <laughs> I can't reach when I'm sitting down. Let's shoot some hoops. Watch this pro level basketball move. Try again. Try again. Okay, so clearly not very good at basketball. Oh! I thought I was in then. And we've got, you can, we've got like climbing, 
Like, imagine these are like little ice picks on that wall. And as I stick them in, pull myself up, pull one out, stick it in. Crap. <laughs> stick it in, stick it in, and fall down. Climbing. So neat. It's, hard. it's just something about having the hand form for what you're grabbing. It makes it so much easier. This is neat, it's like a big heavy wall. Can't really push it, but it seems like it's moving slowly. Looks like a really light wall, we'll just push it over like some vandal. Big balls. And we can press this and then we can change to flying. Yes! Finally reached my monkey bars. Okay. Slam dunk, hold of the ring. <laughs> You can see just how many interactions you can build and put in your games and create puzzles from. Create these really unique experiences. And just you can see in Unity to how kind of easy it is to build this. It's just a script attached to some objects. Using all of these things around, you can imagine building massive games using just the interactions here. Reskin them and, and put some logic behind them. And then all of a sudden you've got really intriguing and immersive interactions. So there we go, that's Auto Hand, and I'll put a link in the description as well, so you can check it out for yourself. It, as I said, it is a paid for asset, uh, and I think it's about 57 euros or something like that when uh, I purchased it. Which sounds like an awful lot of money, but when you balance that against how long something like this is going to take you to create from scratch, it is going to be a huge, huge time saver. And I wouldn't discount the XR Interaction Toolkit. I still see that being part of the development process. So like before you want to go ahead and buy something like Auto Hand, you could build your game using the XR Interaction Toolkit, you know, just prototype it, making the core functionality and you know, to see if your game's fun. And then if it's something that you want to take to the next level, then look at getting Auto Hand because that is going to add a level of immersion to your experience. It's going to make the players feel a lot more grounded in their environment and feel like they're actually interacting with objects properly, deepening that level of immersion. So I hope you liked this video and found it useful. And if you have Auto Hand and want some tutorials, maybe you've got it and you're not sure how to put your own puzzles together, then um, leave a comment and we can look at doing some of those videos just using Auto Hand specifically. And then next week we're going to take a look at another VR package. We're going to take a look at Hurricane VR which is another physics-based VR package you can bring in and use. Very, very similar, um, but we'll look at that one and see what's involved in getting it set up and its ease of use as well. So, But for me, I think AutoHand certainly gets the thumbs up and uh, my seal of approval, <laughs> whatever that's worth. But as I said, if you're a patron, you can uh, grab the build from there and have a play around in the scene, see if it's something for you, and then you could use the link in the description to um, bring it into your own projects. Thanks very much for watching. See you in the next one.